Hey everyone, COE33 here. I'm in the upstairs game room, the retro room. And guys, we have more upgrades. Can you believe it? Yes, the retro room is not done. I know we've done a lot of retro room upgrade videos recently, but there's more to come. I got several things in the works. Probably the most significant and exciting upgrade to the retro room yet including a bunch of smaller little upgrades that I've made. So this is probably going to be a multi-part series because I have some stuff coming. And this is going to be yet another project. It's going to take some doing, but it's very exciting. So before we get into the big news of what's going to happen in here, there's a bunch of little things to share with you. So if you saw our last We Got Mail episode, you saw us pick up a couple things, including this 3D printed Atari sign, which is going to go here on the Atari shelf in the Retro Lounge. And by the way, I've got a little old school Pac-Man going on the Atari 2600. And I think that's gonna be pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that where it goes. And then of course, Oscar's here to hang out with us. And then this sign here, we also got in our last We Got Mail. This is gonna go over here in the Arcade Nook. And that's gonna be pretty sweet. So I gotta put that where it goes. And then I was talking about this item that's going on this wall over here. I've hinted to it in our previous Retro Room Upgrade video. And that did arrive, and I have it being framed professionally at the framers right now. And it's due any day. we got Mortal Kombat 2 here on the Mortal Kombat cab, so that's always pretty sweet. And that's going to be nice to get that back from the framers, because I'm really looking forward to putting that on the wall over by the Mortal Kombat cab. And then I've done a few more small changes over here on the game wall. We went ahead and did a little artwork at the end of the hall here. We had this blank wall, and now it has this really cool timeline, the history of video game timeline that I found online. And I went ahead and framed it, printed it out, gave it a nice little red background. And it's really cool. It's from, you know, starts in the 70s and goes all the way up to current day and give us kind of a cool timeline of the different console releases and various statistics over the video game history. And I still have the Game Gear games here, although I may change that here pretty soon. I'm not sure what I'm going to put here. Those will probably end up on the Sega shelf, and then something else will go there. And then another big change is I want to keep everything kind of together as far as grouping Sega games together. So I went ahead and moved the 32X games onto the Sega shelf because that just made sense. There are Sega games. This is the Sega shelf. So we now have our complete set of Sega 32X games on the Sega shelf, which is awesome. And I moved the little perler sign that we made onto the shelf as well, which means over here that display that we had is no longer there. And what I did is I took some of our data discs, video game soundtrack records and frame them on the wall. So we have Shenmue, Revenge of Shinobi, and then one more that's blank at the moment. And that's because I have another one coming in the mail from the UK that's gonna go right there. And I imagine we'll share that probably in a We Got Mail and it'll live right there in that frame when it arrives. And then yet another small little change on top of the slot machine we now have this really cool las vegas led sign so it's kind of a reproduction of the famous the iconic uh, sign that greets you when you go to las vegas and i thought that was pretty fitting considering it's a las vegas themed slot machine so yeah lots of little changes very cool this room is definitely coming along but the big one the big change is right here this pinball machine is going out of here. Yep, it's a big change, and I've been thinking about this for a long time, whether I wanted to do this or not, because I did restore this machine. I have a lot of, oh, I don't know, nostalgia, I guess. I don't know if nostalgia is the right word, for, but I, I like this machine. It looks really cool, but the play field isn't the most interesting, and I've kind of been debating on what I want to do. Uh, you know, there's a lot of options that I could kind of... Um, that I was thinking about putting here. I was thinking about everything from keeping this here and building like a little mini virtual pinball machine 
and putting that over here by this little slot machine bank. I thought that would be kind of cool because I, I want to play some pinball up here, but I want to play some of my favorite games. And then, of course, thinking about replacing it with a dream pinball machine, something like a, um, oh, Medieval Madness or a Ripley's Believe It or Not or a Theater of Magic or something really cool. But the problem there, as I'm sure most of you know, is those machines are incredibly expensive. And... I just don't quite have that in the budget right now. Now, that may still happen down the line. Who knows? I could start saving, and maybe one day there'll be a, a really sweet pinball machine here. But the truth is, I've really wanted a virtual pinball machine for quite a while. And guess what, guys? This machine is going out of here. This is going down to the garage, and in its place is going to be a very sweet virtual pinball machine that I'm going to build and I have been going down the rabbit hole of virtual pinball for the last couple weeks. And it's quite a rabbit hole. I tell you, it goes deep. There's a lot of options. There's a lot that you can do. And I've been weighing pros and cons. I've been looking at different cabinet manufacturers because I didn't really want to use a um, real pinball cabinet because I'd rather keep those uh, in circulation as real pinball cabinets. Like, I wouldn't want to convert this to a virtual machine because... Then I'm taking this legit 1976 pinball machine out of circulation and destroying it. And I didn't really want to use another real pinball cabinet because someone could use that for a restoration project. So I wanted to buy the cabinet because I don't feel like making a cabinet right now. Even though I could, I really don't want to. <laughs> I want something that's going to be a nice finished cabinet with some custom graphics. But then I want to do all the electronic components and all the setup myself. And I want it to be something that I can mod and over time kind of dial in just the way I want and guys I'm really excited because the machine that I already ordered that's gonna it's probably gonna take a while to get here so this will be part one of a multi-part series but uh, I will definitely share you know the progress as the machine arrives and as I install it and everything but I have a few things I can share with you I went ahead went excuse me went ahead and ordered a cabinet from Rec Room Masters I got a full-size pinball machine and I went with them because it just looked like a good quality kit. It had some of the features I was looking for, including expandability over time. And the one thing I didn't like about that kit is the options for graphics were pretty limited. But they do have an option where you can design your own graphics. So I did that. And I have been busy. And I took, you know, it took me quite a while to get it just the way I wanted. But I did design the graphics I want. And I'm going to share those for you. Now, keep in mind... These are just low resolution printouts for, you know, purpose of proofing before I sent them off to uh, get printed out and have the vinyl attached and everything. So these will look a lot better um, when I get them on the machine. But I am a big fan of Jurassic Park. And I've always wanted a Jurassic Park pinball machine or Jurassic Park something up here. And I just thought that would look really cool. So I actually was looking at Jurassic Park pinball machines and I went ahead and kind of reproduced the look of an original Jurassic Park machine. But I spruced it up a little bit. And this is what I came up with. So here are the graphics that I designed. And I was really lucky to find some high-resolution art online um, from several different sources. So there was a couple people that were designing, like, Jurassic Park Jeeps. And they had high-resolution images. And then I was able to source a few different images and I put together these graphics. So this will be the left side here. We've got the main body. And um, I didn't have to like stretch any of these images. So they'll all be really nice and high resolution when they print out. And then right here, this will be the side art. So you can imagine this main image here will be on the side of the pinball machine. And then this image here will be on the side of the back glass um, on the side there. So that's going to be really cool. So there it is. So one Jurassic Park virtual pinball machine is en route, hopefully soon. And I'm excited because I have some big plans. This is going to be a pretty sweet build. I'm going to go ahead and do a 4K play field so that the resolution is, you know, like really crisp and the details on the pinball tables are super clear. Which means I'm going to have to put a pretty beefy PC in here to run everything. Because it's probably going to be three monitors. I may do two monitors to start with and then upgrade over time. But uh, yeah, so virtual pinball machine. Pretty exciting. This is going to be quite the project. 
and I can't wait until that arrives. So I think that's going to wrap it up for part one of this series of more retro room upgrades. And yeah, so now I just have to patiently wait for this virtual pinball machine cabinet to get here. And then, of course, I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff where it goes. And then it's probably going to be, oh, I don't know, a couple weeks, I'd imagine, until it gets here. And when it does, I'll share the updates to the game room, and then we'll start building the virtual pinball machine. And I'm going to have to get this guy down into the garage. So I'm going to keep this pinball machine, and I'm going to be able to play it down in the garage. So it's still going to be part of the collection. You guys just won't see it as much. It's not going to live up here in the retro room. But uh, hopefully this uh, new machine will be a big improvement. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, bye.